Hi, good evening and welcome to Cooking Uncovered. Tonight, I'm focusing on fast food. And I don't mean the type of food that you drive through and pick up at a window. I mean the type of food that's so easy to prepare and you pop it in the oven and then you have this great food that was really fast to prepare and it's so nutritious. Things take a little bit of time in the oven, but it's so rewarding when you get them out and they're golden brown and tasty. So let's start off with the beautiful russet potato. So first of all, you need to clean these potatoes and you just take them and with the, under the water, you just scrub them with a scrub brush or just with your hands works very well. So just scrub, scrub, scrub until you have all of the dirt off and you're comfortable with being able to eat the skins because some people really like to eat the skins. So I dry my potatoes and then I put them in a bowl and I've got a little bit of oil in the bottom. So I've got about a half a cup of oil in the bottom with a little bit of salt and pepper. And now I'm going to coat my potato in the oil. And that's going to help the potato uh, bake better and it's going to um, allow for the potato to stay a lot moister and it's going to be delicious. So the oil goes on, put it on your pan, of course now my hands are all greasy, and of course before you start to bake your potatoes, make sure you just, uh, with a knife, just uh, prick a couple of holes in, in the top. And that will go into the oven for about an hour, an hour, ten minutes. At the same time, I'm going to roast some other things, and I've shown you this before. This is my roasted butternut squash with my garlic. That's going in the oven, and then I'm also going to put some roasted chicken in the oven, so stay tuned for my great fast food dinner. And I don't mean fast, like quick, 10 minutes, but fast to prepare and so easy, easy for you, especially when you get home from work. So stay tuned. After 70 minutes, I've got all these beautiful food items out of the oven. Look at this gorgeous butternut squash. Is ready to go. Now I'm serving this later on and what I've done, I've roasted it and I'm going to heat it up later on back in the oven. Perfect. My potatoes came out beautiful. They're still a little bit hot and I cut them in half because so, I'm doing a twice twice baked. I'm going to stuff it now. I want to show you this beautiful yam. When you roast a yam long enough and it's cooked, look at how easily it peels. The skin seriously just drops off and you notice that beautiful caramelized look of the inside of the yam and it's so delicious. So I'm going to take this off and take the skin off the yam and I'm going to pop it into a bowl and I'm going to mix it up and I'll show you what I'm going to do next to my twice baked stuffed potatoes. Absolutely, look at that beautiful beautiful and you just pick it off like that. It's still very hot but it's absolutely perfect now. Look at that. Perfectly roasted. Into the, oops, oops, <laughs> into the bowl. It's all going to go into my bowl now and I'm going to mix that up. To stuff a twice baked potato, I have my yam here that I've already roasted. Beautiful in the bowl and I've already started taking the insides of the stuffed potato out. So make a ridge along the inside of your baked potato and that gives you um, a template of what to take out and what not to take out and notice how nicely that just all falls out but yet you're not taking out so much that your baked potato collapses because you do want your baked potato to stay strong. So that's what the inside of the baked potato should look like when you finished with all the fillings. Okay, so and don't worry if you have too much potato filling, don't worry about it. All right, so into that I'm going to put two tablespoons of butter. We have um, salt and pepper to put in yet. So crack salt, crack pepper, and just as a real treat, I'm going to quickly dice some cilantro that is going to be absolutely delicious in my twice bake. So I'm just going to quickly uh, chop up some cilantro. So you'll end up with about two tablespoons of chopped cilantro, as fine as you want. So just pop that in. 
So a bunch like that goes in. And then to that, I'm going to add some warm chicken stock. Now at this point, you can add water, you can add hot milk, but I do like the consistency that the chicken stock gives my mashed potatoes. And then I'm going to just use a potato masher, a hand potato masher, but of course, throw this into the mixer if you've got it, or use a hand mixer if you've got it, or even a fork works well, or a ricer for that matter. So just mash it all up, and then I'm going to just stir it up. Mash it again. And that's about the consistency that I want. So that was about half a cup of broth. And I still have a few more potatoes to actually get in here. So look at the green, the green contrast. I mean, it just, it's so beautiful, the green contrast, because it, um, it just looks so good in a potato. So the way you do this is you take your a baked potato, and now you restuff. And of course, I'm doing this early because what I'm going to do later on when our guests come for dinner, our friend Donna Mike's, um, our friends Donna and Mike are coming, and I'm going to roast these potatoes again. So this is what is going to go back onto the baking tray. Isn't that delicious? So at the very end, I'm just going to pop on another sprig of cilantro. And that's my twice-baked, stuffed, yummy potatoes.